so guys welcome back to my channel this is my speak clothing if you're new to this channel and say welcome and i want to say please subscribe and be a part of this family and if you're a returning subscriber oh my god i love you so much thank you for sticking with me and for this beautiful piece right here you can rock this with or without a belt this is very beautiful this is elegant i mean it's giving my god i love this piece a lot so if this is part of what you are looking for i would advise you stick around watch this video to the end because i show you a detailed and very simple way that you can recreate this particular piece for yourself so stick around and don't forget to like my video share and subscribe so to begin with the cotton of this style i already have my jumpsuit pattern drafted out and cut out so i'm going to be making use of this patterns to cut the style that we are about to cut so if you would like me to give a tutorial or to make another tutorial of how this pattern was made please let me know in the comment section and then i'll make a video illustrating that so when that is done this is the fabric that i'm going to be working with So after pinning the pattern to the work table on the armhole i'm going to take half and then i'm going to mark the point so also i'm going to also mark a point on this part so connecting this point down is not necessary i don't need that point but i just have to mark the point because it's going to give me direction so this is the point that i'm going to be making use of this point right here this point also I don't need this point but it's going to be necessary if you also want to slash along that area so I'm going to slash along this line down to this point So you just get a new pattern paper and you just spread your patterns there so i'm going to be extending my length a little i want it to touch the floor so i'm adding extra six inches allowance to the base of this new pattern like i am doing just watch what i'm doing carefully so this line is just to give me direction as to where to lay my patterns on like this so the initial pattern i have will be stopping on this line but then when i'm cutting i'm going to extend the line downwards also slashing in between i mark the point here so i'm going to slash in between this point or rather what i slashed i'm going to lay them um on the on the two points like this So at the side i'm going to take out five you can decide to take six or ten again it depends on how wide you want your palazzo to be then at the other side i'm going to also take two inches i'm only playing with what i have and i'm playing with the pattern paper that i have available also with the with the um quantity of fabric i have available for me So just watch what I'm doing. If you know you don't have enough fabric, please be economical when you're marking because whatever you mark at this point, that's where you're going to lay on your fabric to cut. So I'll extend the crotch line this way. And then I will go out by one inch. And I'll connect it to what I measured at the other side. So on the crotch line, on the flap, like this, I'm going to measure one inch upwards. And then I'll also connect. This is optional. I just want there to be freedom everywhere. 
I don't want there to be any kind of restriction. Although if I don't add this one, there's not going to be a form of, it's not going to be tight in any way, but I just decide to. After that, we're not going to leave the upper part like this. We're still going to add a different pattern and just close that up. So this measurement is just to determine how wide it's going to be at this point. It's not necessary if you have enough fabric. You can you can slash as wide as you want if you have enough fabric truly. So our pattern is ready. This is what we're going to be cutting off. I'm going to cut two of this. That's the back and the front. So this cotton, I'm still adding half of an inch to all of this cotton. So as you can see, the front piece is ready. So I'm going to be using the front piece to cut the back piece. So just take your time and get the first piece very right and then all get the pattern very right if you're cut with the pattern so once the fabric is folded i placed it on the fabric and then i'm cutting it out but then when i go to the other side i left one inch for zip allowance this is the space i left for zip allowance can you see one inch all the way down So at this point I'm going to be taking my neck depth for the front I'm going to be using 4 inch neck depth then I'm going to be using 3 inch as a neck width but then since I'm not going to be cutting the back and the front neck together meaning the depth is not going to be together I'm going to measure 1 inch again like this then I'll connect it to the to the depth sorry connect it to the width so I'm just going to cut the first one which is a one inch it only affects the back then after this I'm going to dip in the front to give me the first depth that I measured I want the neck a little deeper at the front part So I'm going to be sewing along this line to the crotch, crotch line. So I'll do the same thing for the back, but the only difference for the back will be that I will leave out some space for zipper allowance. So for the zipper allowance, I'm going to go out by one inch. So from that one inch point, I'm going to be sewing from that one inch point like this. All the way to the crotch line as well I'll just leave this part open for the zip this is what it is this is the front look at the line all the way to the crotch line and then I went ahead to join the shoulders together like this 
and then for the back I left this opening for the zip this is the opening for the zip After that, I'm going to join the sides together. So you just align it together. Then I am going to take six inches. Don't mind what you see on the tape there. It was an error. So I'm going to only mark between six to seven inches. And then from that seven inches, I'll mark, I'll place my, my tape at, the, at that mark then I'll take an, another seven inches that is for my pocket length so you can just measure yourself and use a pocket length so disregard what you see initially what I was supposed to do was to have measured six inches from the armhole and then on that six inches point I'm going to measure seven inches from that point and then I will sew all the way down leaving the space for my pocket or pocket allowance So this is the side. That's the pocket allowance I left. I left allowance for the pocket as well. And then after that, I also joined for the other part of it the middle part of the trousers like this so i already have two legs of my palazzo i already have a space so this is a provision for where my legs can enter already i've already closed the both sides So this is what it looks like this is coming up beautifully already so over to the neck so to dress the neck I cut out this one inch of this stripe or strip one inch of this strip this is what I'm going to be using so if you want to use bias go ahead and use but for this one I had to cut out the same fabrics to turn the neck with like we always do after sewing you turn it over like this and then you still sew along the edges over to the sleeve I'd gone ahead to dress or to completely sew one part of the sleeve so this is going to be a guideline as to how we're going to make the second one so the, the process to, towards making the sleeve is I went ahead to cut my sleeve and then this is the strap yeah like a belt after that I went ahead and then I opened the middle part of the sleeve I cut it open like this so what I'm going to do after slicing it open is to go ahead and just so fold it like this and then sew from that point all the way fold like this and then sew from this point all the way down I'll do the same for the second part the same thing I did for the first one I'm going to repeat the same thing for the second one so once I'm done I am going to be laying one side of the sleeve just watch what I'm doing like this that's after folding it and I'm going to sew up until two and a half once I'm done with that I'm just going to make garters at the edge and then i'm going to sew and completely cover it like this so once you're done with that 
I went ahead and I fixed the sleeve and then I already fixed the pocket as well. This is the pockets already made. You can see that. And the sleeve has been completely joined to the style. Let's look at the neck. Neck is dressed already. This is the sleeve. This is what it looks like. This is not a long sleeve. And once that is done, I'm going to fold the down parts of the trousers. I'm going to do for one and do for the second one as well. And that will be all for our style. So guys, thank you for sticking with me and thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Goodbye. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you. Bye.